there share pendarvis here elite painter master and artist and author of the painter wow books and the artist tablet book in this video i'll demonstrate a selection of textures in the rough texture pack and share how i use them in my painting sub point to Lusky's. the rough texture pack contains 15 textures and i've used several of them to subtly enhance my painting first let's use the square hard pastel variant of chalk pastel and crayons to apply the textures to a new image. I'm going to start with the aged corrugated texture and I have a dark rusty brown chosen and I'm pressing with medium pressure on my stylus to apply this texture. The next one, footprints in the sand, a rough slightly grainy texture, Hilly terrain, very useful for painting rocks and such, modern erosion, kind of a fun texture with a bit of a 3D look, grassy mud, one of my favorites, etched surface, rougher handmade water flow frosty etch rougher handmade laid paper sandstone which also has a little bit of a 3D look. Windblown sand was a very fun one to make. Pebbly. Rough bark. Another favorite. And rough terrain. Similar to hilly terrain, but more height to it, more contrast. I hope you enjoy experimenting with these textures. Now I'm going to go back to my painting and I'll share about how I use these textures over the top of my painting on these layers to subtly enhance the painting. I want to point out an important brush that I have chosen in the brush selector here, the Square Hard Pastel variant of Chalk Pastel and Crayons. And this is the brush that I used to demonstrate the textures on the new document that we just worked with. I'm also using the Square Hard Pastel on this particular piece to apply the textures to the sky, the water, and the cliffs in the foreground. So let's start with water flow right here. So water flow can be used. I'm going to apply this to the sky right here just to contrast vertically like so. But I'll show you how I used it on my sky. I'm going to sample Hold down Option Alt and I'm going to choose a blue color and I'm going to turn it like so. And this is how I used it to, let's go here to the water flow layer, and this is how I used it to apply more interest to the sky. And I'm just going to undo that right there, but you'll see that I use this color right here and a little bit more of a purple lavender color over here. And now for the rough terrain, I have it chosen here in the papers panel, and I have the rough terrain layer chosen here, and I'm going to use a contrasting color to show what I use. You can see kind of the orangey looking strokes right in here. I used it like so. I'm using a contrasting color now so you could see how I applied it onto the substrate. And I'm undoing these right now. Let's see, I'll choose this color right here, darken it a little bit, and we'll add like a little bit more. So you see that coming in right there and over in here. Now I'll show you how I added flecks of light onto the water. Here I have my modern erosion water layer and I'm going to 
apply a little bit of lighter blue to the water here, right where the wind is hitting it, and you see that coming in. I also use the modern erosion on the cliff, and I'm going to turn this on and off so you can see the flex. There's a little bit here and here, so I'll just choose a little bit of the darker color and we'll apply just a little bit more right here. Just very subtly. A little bit of dimensional flex of dark coming in here and has a little bit of a 3D look to it. Now, I also use the water flow texture to add some more dimension and activity to the water right here. So let me just sample color down here and then we'll choose the water flow again. And I'm going to adjust the angle a little bit and apply a little bit more like right in here. You see that coming in, adding more texture to the water, gives kind of a little wave effect. I'm going to adjust the angle a little more here, a little more horizontal. There. Next I'm going to select my rougher foreground cliff layer here, and I'm going to turn this on and off, and you can see the darker texture that I have applied here and we'll just apply a little bit more. Let's choose this darker brown here, darken it so it's easier for you to see, and then choose the rougher handmade paper right here. And we'll just apply some more right here. See that coming in? I'm going to overdo it a little bit just so that you can see the effect. I like to apply these textures very subtly when I'm adding them over my painted brushwork. So in this video, we explored the roughed texture pack. We made brush strokes on a new image, and I showed you how I applied the textures subtly over my thick paint brushwork in the painting subpoint to Lusky. Thanks very much for watching. Enjoy the rough texture pack and happy painting.